Fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 7. Understand volume. Investigate. Connect. You can find the volume of a rectangular prism by counting unit cubes. Volume is the measure of the amount of space a solid figure occupies and is measured in cubic units. Each unit cube has a volume of one cubic unit. The rectangular prism above is made up of how many unit cubes, guys? Um, so how many here? In this first picture, there's four on the back side and then four more on the front side. So there are eight unit cubes and has a volume of eight unit cubes. So then they wanted us to take this rectangular prism and they cut it out, fold it up, and then see how many cubes we could put in it. So first of all, it talks about how many centimeter cubes make up the length of the first layer. So basically, I drew over here what their unit cubes look like inside that box. So they have five across and five down. All right, so how many is the length? Five. Five. What's the width? Five. Five. And then the height? One. One, because it's just a flat layer, right? There's only one layer. How many centimeter cubes are used to fill the base? So how many... So I made the little um, five by five. I made the five by five over here. So if I took five times five, how many cubes do I have in my little display? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So in one layer of that little box, you can get twenty-five um, cubes or unit cubes. Letter C. Continue filling the rectangular prism layer by layer. Count the number of centimeter cubes used for each layer. So basically, you can get five layers in this little white box. Okay? So how many centimeter cubes are in each layer? How many did we say were in this one layer? 25. And then this is how many layers of cubes fill the rectangular prism, and I told you five, right? So five layers can fit in this little white box right here. How many centimeter cubes would fill that prism then? So I would take 25 times five and get 125, because that would be like five quarters, right? So the volume of the rectangular prism is... 125 cubic centimeters. Draw conclusions. Number one, describe the relationship among the number of centimeter cubes you use to fill each layer, the number of layers, and the volume of the prism. Each layer could hold 25 unit cubes. There were five layers, so 25 times 5 equals 125 unit cubes. Number two, apply. If you had a rectangular prism that had a length of three units, a width of four units and a height of two units, how many unit cubes could you need or would you need for each layer? How many unit cubes would you need to fill the rectangular prism? So we said length times width equals, so we said three times four, so it would take 12 unit cubes for the layer, right? And then to find the volume, we took 12 times the height, which was two, and got 24 unit cubes. Make connections. To find the volume of three-dimensional figures, you measure it in three directions. For a rectangular prism, you measure its length, width, and height. Volume is measured using cubic units, such as cubic centimeters, cubic inches, or cubic feet. Which has the greatest volume? One cubic centimeter or one cubic inch? Its length. One cubic inch because a centimeter is, it, is smaller than an inch. Find the volume of the prism if each cube represents one cubic centimeter, one cubic inch, and one cubic but so 36 cubic centimeters, 36 cubic inches, and 36 cubic feet. Would the pres and we found that because we took 6 times 3 and got 18, and then 18 times 2 and got, and then they all ended up being 36 because in our picture they didn't give us a unit of measurement yet. Then it says, would the prism above be the same if it were built with centimeter cubes, inch cubes, or foot cubes? Explain. No, because feet is the largest measurement, then inches, and then centimeters. They are not the same. 
indicate difference or dimensions, okay, um, or distance, okay, so they are not the same. This would probably be better if you said the same distance. Share and show. Use the unit given. Find the volume. So for every problem today, I want you guys to write the formula for volume. Okay? So the formula for volume is volume <coughs> equals length times width times height. Okay? So I would write V equals, what's my length? Four times what's my width? Four. Four times my height? Three. Three. So V equals what's four times four? Sixteen. Or in this case, would it maybe be easier for you to do four times three? Yeah. So four times what's four times three? Twelve. And then four times twelve is what, guys? Eight. So forty-eight cubic centimeters. Centimeters. Okay, number two, what am I going to start with? V equals length times width times height. Okay, then I'm going to rewrite V equals for volume, right? What's my length? Four. Mm -hmm. Two. Two times times four. V equals six times four. Six times four is twenty-four cubic inches. Okay, how am I gonna start off my next one? V equals length times width times height. Okay, then V equals Okay, V equals 12 times 3, which equals 36, what? 36 what? 36 cubic feet. Okay, number 4, what am I going to start out with? V equals length times width or times height. Okay, V equals 4 times uh, 5 times 3. V equals 40 times 3. Which equals 60 cubic inches. inches. So, you have to have that formula when you show your work. If you do not have that formula when you show your work, then you will be missing that for your work part. Okay? So, you guys are going to do five and six with your partners, okay? You have to find, you're gonna use the formula for each cube. So you're gonna technically have to get four answers and then also do a comparison symbol between them, so then you right? Have to add them? No, you're not adding them, you're just finding the volume for each cube on each side, just like we did up here, oh, but then you're just comparing it, all right? What's the error? Jerry says that the cube with edges that measure 10 centimeters has a volume that is twice as much as a cube besides that measures 5 centimeters. Explain and correct Jerry's error. So we did our work over here and we said volume equals length times width times height. And then the volume is 5 times 5 times 5, which equals 125 cubic centimeters. And then we said the volume of 10 times 10 times 10 is actually 1,000 cubic centimeters. So a cube with 5 centimeter edges would have a volume of 125 centimeters cubed and a cube with 10 centimeter edges would have a volume of 1,000 centimeters cubed. Therefore, they would be more than double of each other. Number eight, Patty built a rectangular prism with cubes. The base of her prism has 12 centimeter cubes. If the prism was built with 108 centimeter cubes, how many layers does her prism have? What is the height of the prism? So basically, they're saying that the base of her thing is this whole thing, so is 12. So this whole thing right in here is 12. 
Okay, so it could be um, three by four, it could be a two by six, right? Okay, but that part is 12. So then if we were to make this three dimensional, and then of course it'd be a lot taller than that, right? Okay. But they say this whole thing here is 12, and then it goes up so much to get 108 total cubic blocks. Okay, so how many, so like I was saying, we need to find out how many cubes it takes to get to fill that whole thing. So like if I had a box, how many is it going to take to fill that whole thing? So how do I get from 12 to 108, guys? Times nine. Times nine, right? So how many layers would it have? So it'd have nine layers. So nine layers. So then that makes the height, what? Nine, what's my label? Nine centimeters. Centimeters. Number nine, a packing company makes boxes with edges, each measuring three feet. What is the volume of the box? Okay, so we have to figure out that first. So they make boxes with edges. So we would draw our little cube, right, to represent our box. And each one is three by three by three, right? So what would that be? So our volume formula is length times width times height. So what would it be getting? 27 what? Feet cubed, right? Or cubic feet. You have to make sure you guys put that in there, okay? Otherwise, would it be wrong? Yes, because they want the volume. If 10 boxes are put in a larger rectangular shipping container, <coughs> And completely fill it with no gaps or overlaps, what is the volume of the shipping container? So you would take 27 times 10 and get 270. So 270 feet or cubic feet. That's however you want to write it, but it has to somehow be cubed because we're talking about volume. Number 10. Find the volume of the rectangular prism. So I'm going to start with what, guys? V equals length times width times height. And then would you actually say V or what you would just call it? Volume. volume right? Which, yes, I'm letting you guys do the abbreviation. So volume equals? Three times five times five. Okay. Volume equals? 25 times three equals 25 times three. What is 25 times 3, guys? 75. So which one? The cubic centimeters, not meters, right? So you have to pay attention to your labels. Okay? All right.